could you tell me what the equivalent of an LLC is here in Canada? And if we have one, okay. and if not- <laughs> and That's sort of confused. I mean, th yeah. th this is why we have How these webinars- How is an LLC different from a corporation? Yeah, this, so that, that's something- Exactly, that this, is, this is why we have these webinars, bring an expert like yourself, because there is so much confusion when you talk about cross-border. I mean, there's billions of Canadian dollars being invested in the US and the Canadian retail investor has a, you know, has a hard time uh, understanding the the very basics because it just gets very confusing. Right. So there's no equivalent to a limited liability company in Canada. And that's why we've got that, that double taxation or the dividend from a foreign affiliate concept. Uh, a C Corp would be just your traditional Canadian, Ontario, Quebec, BC corporation. That's all it is. Uh, and as I mentioned before, the main difference between uh, why people like the LLC is that it will provide with corporate protection. It's like there's liability protection. It, it, it cannot be pierced if you, uh, if you made a boo-boo during your operations. They can only go after the asset of the LLC. But the kicker is that on the US side, the LLC is disregarded or ignored tax-wise and the tax liability is in the hands of the individual. Right. Um, currently, just to give you an idea, if we use, you know, let's just use Florida, for instance, because it's an easy one. Florida doesn't tax individual income. So if an individual earned $100,000 of LLC income in Florida, he or she would be subject to a federal tax rate of give or take, let's say, 25%, and that's it. So if he or she owned it through an LLC and the income flowed through to the individual, it's a 25% sticker price. If this was a corporation, a C Corp, then the state of Florida charges, the federal charges a flat fee of 21%, and the state of Florida will charge another 5.5%. There's a small discount this year in the state of Florida, which takes the overall tax to about 25.5%, but it's still more expensive than individual ownership. Because remember that at the end of the day, Money sitting in a corporation doesn't belong to the, mem to the shareholder. He or she needs to extract it through dividends. Now, if we look at the Biden proposed changes, well, what you're going to end up finding is he plans on raising the 21% rate to 29%. And if you add to that the five and a half in Florida, we're now almost at 30, almost 35% or 34 and a half percent. And that's a lot much more expensive than the individual rate at 25%. And on top of that, you'll need to declare dividends if you want to use the money personally. So um, these are the major components.